Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called More Plus. This is by the humble approach. It takes two to six players to play the game, and it takes roughly as long as you'd like it to take based on who's playing the game. I know that sounds kind of confusing, but I'll explain it in my setup, and of course my how to play, and then of course my review. This is gonna be a, a minor review, like a small review, because the game's very, very light and very, very simple. Uh, but yes, this is the game, and it's all about placing cards down and peeking at cards cards before their players or catching them in the act while playing another game. Anyway, let's get into how you set up more plus and then of course the rest of the stuff. Okay, so the setup for the more plus is pretty simple. The way it works is you'll take your deck of six playing cards, you'll shuffle these cards up, and then based on the number of players playing, you will divvy out one card for each of those players. For the rest of them, you can go ahead and set them aside as you will not need them. Then, after you have your cards in front of their players, you're gonna go ahead and take out another game. Something else, another game that maybe takes a little longer. Maybe something like Five Minute Dungeon or any of the games behind me. And set that game up and prepare to play that game. That's the game you'll be playing for the most part throughout this game. And what happens is More Plus is kind of an added game, kind of like Gameception and other games like that, or, or the um, game where you're like the, the eat poop you cat. Uh, and what, what happens is you place these cards down and then you're going to once again set up a different game and then you're ready to go. And I'm just gonna include how to play into this because it's so straightforward. How this works is players are going to try and peek at the card in front of them. Each card reflects a number, one through six. And if you're able to peek at your card and announce the card's number before someone catches you, you win. That's pretty much it. So if I go to take a look at my card and somebody says, ah, and they catch me, then I have to sit out. And the rest of the players will keep playing, trying to peek a card, ah, out. Until somebody's able to successfully look at their card, shout out number one, and win. And if no one has caught them in the act, then that's pretty much how the game is played. And you can once again rinse and repeat. You can just go ahead and take all the cards once again, shuffle them back up while playing a different game, and once again, begin by adding the three cards down, or four, depending on the number of players you're playing with, and ready, set, go. And that's how the game works. It's kind of like a game of like, it reminds me of this card in Magic the Gathering called Cheating Face, or Cheaty Face, where you have a card that you can cheat into play as long as no one notices that you do it. But in this case, it's a game where everybody can see the cards, and I would like to set up a few house rules for this game. Uh, the first rule is, if you are touching your card, it's fine. If it moves around the table, it's fine. However, the moment your card lifts from the table in any way, shape, or form, even if it's just a slight bend, that is a catch. So if anybody catches you doing that, or peeking like this, anything that moves this card or bends this card in any way, that is a catch, you can catch them. But if they're just simply doing this, then that's not a catch. So the moment they go to take a sneak peek, that's a catch. If they can call the number out before you say, I gotcha or gotcha, uh, then they are going to win the game. And yeah, it's, it's, it's that simple. More plus a straightforward little card game. And I mean a little card game, it's even smaller than the average like 12 card card games or 20 card card games I've played before. I'll go ahead and let's, let's review it. So like I said, More Plus is basically like Gameception. Gameception is a game you play while you're playing another game. Everybody gets a card, and then when somebody does the thing on the card, you'll call that out. So if it says, touching, your, touching a player's nose, and I've got that card, and then Bill over here touches his nose, well, then I can go ahead and say, ah, gotcha, and flip over a card, and that'll score me a point, and I draw a new card from Gameception. And I continue doing that up until the very end of whatever game we're playing. So as we're playing the game Five Minute Dungeon, uh, uh, once the game is over, which in this case would be five minutes, whoever has the most points as far as cards go is the winner. More Plus is like that, but on a very light basis. This game is going to be just simply peeking at a card, guessing the number, and then trying to rinse and repeat that. And you could do it so that you could play multiple times in a game every single time somebody wants to do that. Um, or every single time you want to play, you can do that. I, I would suggest maybe once or twice in a game, not like too heavily, because players can get out of hand with this, and then you might not be wanting to focus on the game you're actually playing. Um, this is very, very, very light, and it's fun, and I like it. I think even it would be great to play just once in a game, and the fact that you can use house rules for it is pretty cool as well. Uh, the one major drawback I have with this game is it's a six card card game, and all you really need are numbers on a card. So I have to know the reasoning as to why I'd wanna pick this up over 
a, a deck of playing cards or something like that, what makes me want to decide to grab this. It's a really fun little activity that I like to get involved with in games, and it has a lot of staying power. This is a game I would definitely keep for longer games to keep people engaged in the game, especially a heavier Euro. Uh, it makes people want to take a look at other players' boards. It does a lot of cool stuff that you wouldn't think a small card game would do, where players are sifting around on their phones and whatnot being actually quite annoying while you're trying to play together. Uh, now it keeps people a little bit more engaged because while they're waiting for their turn, it takes 10 minutes to go around the table to get back to them, everybody's kind of focusing on the mini game that everybody is playing, which is really, really cool. So the only answer I would have to have based on this game for me to instantly want to pick it up is why, why this as opposed to something else. But in, anyway, as far as just how the game goes on its own, it's fun. I enjoy it. I'd like to play this probably once or twice in another game setting. And also depending on the, the type of people playing the game as well, if you have people constantly just flipping it to where everybody's flipping it and you're the last person left and you have to reset the game and you do this over and over and over again, it probably wouldn't be as fun of an experience. However, if you have it like a slow burn where everybody's just kind of watching and waiting for that person to slip up or that person who gets lucky enough to just go ahead and get a quick peek and announce their number really quick. It, it's fun. That's like an exhilarating feel to other games well, that might be a little bit more thinky and like, uh, I guess I could say dull, but I'd say strategic, I suppose, and a little bit more life into the atmosphere of the game. Overall though, More Plus is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this activity and it's a game that I can include in some larger Euros. It's something that I'll basically include whenever I want to play a game like Eat Poop You Cat or Gameception. Now I'll have this game as well to introduce to people as another side game within a game. So it's a more uh, in Inception type game style play. Yeah, a lot of fun, I enjoy it. There's a link down below if you're interested in More Plus. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review for the game More Plus. If you're interested in picking this up, there will be a link down below, as well as you can the website, thehumbleapproach.com, where you can see the rest of their games. Uh, you can go and check out our website as well, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Every Sunday is our live stream at 6 3 p.m. PST, and we will play this. We'll play, probably play this on our next Sunday night live stream to show people how it works and how it kind of can change a game's play, how it feels a little different when you're playing this within another game, which is pretty sweet. Um, and you can also share us out on Whatnot, which is on every other Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. PST, where we sell games, share off games, talk about games, all that good stuff, and we do other little mini stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I look forward to playing more Plus with you next time.